Hey guys, in today's video, I will be sharing an Easter and Spring Dollar Tree haul. Yes, please. But before we jump into today's video, if you would take a second to give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy my Dollar Tree hauls. I cannot wait to share this stuff with y'all. And if you're new around here, definitely take a second to look around. I have vlogs. I share crafting ideas, tips, tricks, DIYs, hauls. I am a thrifter and a bargain shopper. If you do like what you see around here, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss my next uploads. Let's go ahead and jump into this spring haul, y'all. I found some really, really good stuff. I'm so excited about it. So I did go ahead and pick up this little planter. This is more of like a medium large planter. A, I could put a plant in it. B, I was thinking about using it for a DIY. We shall see. Now I did pick up some Easter and spring ribbon. This is not the normal Dollar Tree brand ribbon. Um, this is more of like a medium size roll of ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It is wired, so it's one and a half inches wide, and you only get six feet. They normally give us nine feet, and normally I believe it's the two and a half inches, or is it the two inches? I'm not really sure. So they did have quite a bit. Okay, here is the bag with the ribbon. So let's go ahead and pull out all of the ribbon. They have the purple and pink bunnies with some floral print. I think this is so cute. They are giving us a little blue truck. So I actually got two rolls of the bunny ribbon, one with the truck. I picked up a like lavender, a baby blue. They were giving us these really pretty eggs. These will be super cute for Easter baskets this year. And then I did go ahead and pick up a few rolls of the much thinner ribbon. We have some polka dots, like multicolor polka dots, pink ribbon with white polka dots, which you could use this all year round. Super cute for birthdays as well. And then I also went with this satin ribbon and it is in a really pretty yellow with white flowers. So these are going to be fun to craft with. So for Valentine's, I made these little felt flags to pop into Miss Olivia's gift baskets as well as my little Galentine gift baskets. They were A, so fun to make. I did make them or I made one of them in a vlog. I can have it linked down below, but I plan to make some like Easter spring little felt flags. Let me know if you would like to see a DIY. I could probably include it either in like a gift basket video or maybe just like a DIY video. So I did go ahead and pick up some more yarn and this is what I went with. I do have a lot of pink on hand, so didn't need any more pink, but I have white, blue, purple, this really pretty mint green, and yellow. So I'm stocked up on yarn. I also picked up this little Crafter Square craft spatula. Just thought that this would be great for my little crafting stash, which I have been working on my space up here, and I'm so proud of it. It, it is looking... Oh my goodness, it's looking way better. Uh, let's go ahead and move to the next bag. Um, this little decor piece is so cute. I just had to get it. They had two versions of it. So this one is with the blue and the pink. I believe they had one with purple and yellow. I just loved this little piece so much. So this is just super cute on its own. If you wanted to like turn it into like a tabletop piece, that would be really cute as well or to pop it into a wreath. Loved this little guy. Uh, let's see. I also have some little eggs here. You get two for $1.25. They look like a little faux shiplap in yellow. I did pick them up in pink, so I'm sure they're up here somewhere. These are just super cute to craft with, make your own little garland, or to pop on an Easter basket. And then I did have Olivia with me uh, this little round, and we saw all of the little Toy Story figures. Um, some of them are in here and some are in there. So we did pick these up. So we have Bo Peep, we have Rex, and we have Woody. These were so cute. Olivia absolutely loves Toy Story. So we had to pick these up. And of course she will play with them under supervision because they are, you know, a little on the smaller side. So we have that. I also picked up some mailing tape because I ran out. Next up. 
we have some more wall decor. So, well, actually, I picked up this little coloring book. I thought that this would be super cute to pop into Olivia's Easter basket. She loves the farm animal scene, loves animals. So, this is on the farm coloring. I picked that up. Now, this next little wall decor piece they came out with last year. There is a trio of these little, like, Easter gnome bunnies. But this is the one that I picked up. Could not find it last year, but finally got my hands on it this year. And I kind of like that they bring back the same prints or, like, the same little decor pieces. Just in case you can't catch it one year, maybe you can get lucky the next year. So this is the one that I went with. I think it is so cute. The little gnome Easter bunny is holding holding the eggs. This is adorable. And then I picked up this little piece. Now they had a few versions of this. I did post, um, I believe all of the versions that they had over on the Shopping Babes Instagram. If you would like to see all of the things that we see in the store but we don't buy, I post them over on the Shopping Babes Instagram and I will have a link for that in the description box below. I went with this one because I could easily DIY it. I love how natural, neutral the bunnies are that I could pop off and use this for something else and then pop something else onto to this more neutral background. We also have this little wall decor piece here that says Happy Easter. And I don't remember them bringing these out last year, so I don't know if they're new. We did see these during Christmas time. So this little piece here, I love. I love the little galvanized piece on it. I love the yellow with the white polka dots. It says Happy Easter. These little galvanized wordings are easy to pop off, but you do want to be gentle when you are doing that. Um, and then you can use it for another craft. So I loved this one and I loved the pink one. The pink with the white polka dots. And this one says Easter blessing. So cute. It, it is a little bit on the busier side, like with the galvanized words, but you could pop them off and paint them a solid color and then pop it back on. Like this one would be super pretty painted in pink or maybe blue or a lavender. So just a little idea. Moving right along, I did pick up one more uh, decor piece, but this one is more for like DIYing and crafting. I think they came out with these last year as well. I'm not really sure, but I just, whenever I saw it, I knew that I needed to craft with it. Okay, moving right along to some more decor. We have this little gnome bunny as well. I believe they also had it in either blue or purple. Um, if you're not into like this type of like decor, you can easily pop this off and recover it. So that's just an idea as well. And then we have a couple more pieces. I thought that these were super pretty. So I did pick up two. This one here says Easter wishes and bunny kisses. How pretty. I could pop one of these in Olivia's playroom. And then we have this one here that says Happy Easter. Now the wording is is like foiled it's like a foiled blue we have a little tassel at the bottom I just loved these okay moving right along I also have this little decor piece they also had I believe a bunny and an Easter egg like this that was just plain I loved how they gave us like the wood whitewash look I'm not sure if you can tell on camera it gives us a blank canvas to use for crafting and DIY so loved that and then here are the little pink eggs loved these I'm definitely going to add one of these to Olivia's gift basket or Easter basket and then I found these Oopsie, I just ripped one off. <laughs> okay, I think I bought two. So we have this little floral garland. Yes, I just popped that one off and I will be able to pop it back on. So I loved seeing something like this at the Dollar Tree. I thought that this was a great little find. You definitely can use this for lots of different things like making your own like little DIY floral backdrop. You can also use this as a base for a garland whether you want to use fabric and or mesh or ribbon. This is a great little piece to start with. So I did pick up two, 
with these pretty pink flowers. They had purple flowers, blue flowers, yellow, um, some that were a little bit more pink, but they looked a little bit more like tropical. Those are the ones that I went with. And then there was a box full of these little wooden stakes. So these are like little yard stakes to pop into the garden, which I may do. I'm not really sure yet. So I went with this little egg here, this one, and this one. I think they are so cute. Now I am thinking about painting them. We will see, I'm not really sure. Uh, it seems like we could easily pull these like little foam flowers off and then maybe I could like paint um, this like a really pretty pink or purple because this color is a little bright for my taste, but I thought that these were so cute. And I do believe these are a repeat find from Dollar Tree. Oh my goodness, this next little item. Oh no, he got kind of broke. I think I could, nope. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I officially broke him, but look how cute he would have been. So we have this little Easter decor piece. I did pick up the pastel version. I actually have two of them, so. <laughs> So I did pick up the pastels, but they had one with like much darker eggs. I thought that these were so cute. This is definitely something that we would see at Kirkland's or Hobby Lobby, even Michael's, I would say for like $14.99. So for $1.25, this is adorable. Okay, next up, I found the bunnies. Did not find the bunnies last year. They brought them back and I found them. How adorable are these little bunnies? For $1.25, you really can't beat it. They are super cute to pop into an Easter basket. Super cute for decor. You can make them like little outfits, add a little bow, add a little bow tie, a little pearl necklace. Now, they did bring these bunnies back and they brought them back in brown. And my stores that I have gone to, I have not been able to locate any of the brown bunnies, only the little white ones, but they are so adorable. So I do have a few here. I did get two for myself and two for my mom. So these are just so cute. Next up, we have a non spring Easter bag here. And <laughs> I got this little cereal, so it's alphabet cereal. I thought that these would be a fun little snack for Olivia. We will also be able to play with them and then eat them. So I'm going to use these for an activity and snack time. Yes, please. So those are going to be fun. I also picked up these little, um, like apple chips, apple cinnamon flavored baked puffs. I've tried them previously. Olivia loved them and I'm really weird about giving her chips like and I have to like watch her like a hawk So these are like a fun option when she sees us eating chips. She can have something like this Okay, so here are a few more of the little Toy Story toys. We have Buzz and we have Forky and then these are for mama and dada. I picked up two little packs of the Dunkaroos if you know, you know, and they are so good. Last little portion here are Easter basket gift ideas. So really cute items to be able to fill our Easter baskets. So down like the baby toddler aisle, I saw these little snack containers. So we have the super cute elephant. They did have quite a few options here, none in pink or maybe like all of the pink were already gone at this point. I did go with the blue elephant because Olivia does love elephants. So it's like one of those little like munchkin type dupe snack containers so that they so that the snack doesn't spill all over I loved seeing something like this for a dollar 25 at Dollar Tree because they can get a little pricey so this is adorable and then I was finally able to find the little embroidered bath towel it's the little hooded towel super cute really great to pop into either a baby shower gift and or an Easter basket. And then these little gems here, great to keep those toddler fingers busy. Uh, these will be great for Easter baskets. 
Um, I'm going to pop one of them into Olivia's uh, Easter basket and something like this I will keep in the car. So if we're going to pop into a coffee shop, if we are going to lunch, brunch, or dinner, I can pull something like this out to keep her occupied. So we have this one here with the Disney princesses. I love that they're giving us Moana. Olivia loves Moana and that will definitely get her attention. I also picked up the Mr. Potato Head version. Oh, actually it's Mr. and and Mrs. Potato Head. So I thought that these were great little finds. And then down the toy aisle, I found this little container. Now this says it is a toy collector showcase for like the little Lego people and or cars. I thought that this would be super cute to pop in. Maybe little people. I was going to see if the little people would fit in here. If not, some little toy. Maybe those little um, Toy Story toys will fit in here. Olivia loves my organizational ideas. Anytime I put something into some type of container, she loves opening it, taking them out, putting them back in, carrying them around the house. They're great little like busy boxes to take to a restaurant or a coffee shop. I only picked up one because I wanted to see like which toys would fit. Do I have enough toys that would fit in here? Um, if all goes well, I definitely will pick up more of these. Okay, guys, I did a little trial run with the toys. The Dollar Tree toys fit perfectly. Bo Peep did stick out a little bit because of her staff here, but it still worked. And then I popped some little people in here as well. And for the most part, a lot of them fit. If you do have the little people that are holding an object, um, these may not fit, but this is super cute. I definitely need more. Okay, the last little item that I have to share with y'all today is a label maker. Um, yeah, and it just says label maker. I was like looking at it and I was like, how does it work? I have no clue. This is what it looks like. I believe they had it in red, maybe black. No, I feel like I would have bought black if they had it in black. Um, let's see. I don't know. It doesn't need tape. What do you do? Okay, I'm going to probably, I'm going to have to like Google YouTube this thing. I have no idea. If you know how this little thing works, let us know in the comments down below. Okay, another quick little update on the label maker. A quick Google search and you do need to order the tape for it. So, buyer beware, you do have to order something in order to use this. Well, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope that I was able to get this out fast enough for you guys so that you can go score big at Dollar Tree. Let me know in the comments down below what little find was your favorite. What find do you think is a must have, a must pick up? Uh, yeah, let's chat in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I truly appreciate it. If you did enjoy this haul, if you like my Dollar Tree hauls in general, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out and I appreciate it more than you know. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Hit that notification bell so that you won't miss the next upload and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.